getting ready to start the podcast. This is the very first video podcast on this channel. I know you guys are used to vlogs, but if you're new to this channel, welcome, subscribe. And um, this is the Zebulon Thomas podcast, very first episode of the video version. I've been doing the podcast for a while, so we're getting ready to go live here. And um, it's Friday morning, so hopefully you guys are enjoying your morning or whenever you're watching this right now, it's Friday. So let's have some fun. All right. Sometimes I mess up my intro. I've only done it like three times since I've started the podcast. And uh, we're not going to do that today. <laughs> we're not going to mess this up. It's because I get ahead of myself. All right, here we go. We're going to go live. We're going to do this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome to the Zebulon Thomas podcast, episode 20. Today is Friday. I hope you're excited about it. hope you're excited about Friday. I hope you're doing some really cool stuff today. What is it you're going to get into? How are you wrapping up the week? You know, what are some things you're thinking about going into this weekend? Are you excited about something? Is there an adventure you're doing? Are you taking some time off? Are you going on vacation? Is it just another weekend for you? Um, for me, for me, you know, I mean, I'm always excited about Fridays uh, because this is the time where I get done with the, the, the grind of the week of social media posting and getting everything together to scale and grow these businesses. It's time for me to go into creative zone, you know, really be able to, to expand my mind for all the cool creative stuff that I want to create and, and test and just have fun with um, because, you know, I'm having fun on the weekends, spending more time with family, and that just gives me the energy that I, I, uh, I need to, you know, get motivated to do new stuff. It also gives, gives me ideas. You ever have those ideas at the, the weirdest times, at the random times where, you know, you might be in the shower and all of a sudden an idea comes to you and you're like, oh my gosh, where I got to write that down. And you're jumping out of the shower, you're trying to find paper, the paper's wet, trying to grab your phone, you're sinking your phone with water. <laughs> it's just a mess. But that's usually when a great idea happens and comes to us. Listen, it's Friday and I have a question for you. If you could start a new business right now, what would it be? What would it be? If you could start a business right now, a new business, what would it be? Would it be something different than, you've, than what you've currently done? Would it be something alongside of all the incredible ideas you have? Or are you kind of thinking right now about the business you currently run? Or maybe the business that you're in. Maybe it's a career. Maybe you work for someone. Um, maybe you are the backbone to a big business. Would you do things differently? Um, what things would you get rid of? And how would you structure that? So that's a big question I wanted to ask you guys right now, especially going into the weekend, because I want you to think about this stuff. Remember, I'm always challenging you to start to look at your life and your business operations and just everything in a different way, a new light. Um, because that's how we get creative. That's how we start to take our life to the next level and really expand our businesses. So I say that because I met a, a gentleman uh, a, a while back, and this is some time ago, and you know he was doing YouTube videos like I was, uh, but he was doing them very differently. And he, he looked at me and says, you know, I don't know why I have all this gear. You know, I just use my phone. And you know, for me being a videographer and doing YouTube videos and paying attention to all this detail and quality of content, you know, I just couldn't even understand that. I'm like, well, I, I got all this gear and all these expensive, you know, lenses and cameras because I want to deliver the best quality. I want to capture things at the highest resolution and just give people a good experience. Um, and he agreed with all that, but he also said, listen, you over, overly, you might, you may have overly complicated what you do. You know, we go into things seeing maybe other people do stuff and we think that's what we got to have. For me, I saw one tool and I said I needed that tool and that was a GlideCam camera stabilizer. I knew that was the tool, whatever I put on it, whatever camera that was, I wasn't worried about it, but I was concerned about getting this camera stabilizer because it was the backbone to my business. So that's, that's where I started from. That was my ground and my backbone. So, you know, I built up from there, you know, and I, and I, I guess maybe I did kind of complicate things with all the different cameras and lenses and microphones, but when I first started, it really wasn't complicated because all I had was a Glidecam camera stabilizer, the, the camera and the kit lens that came with, and no microphone. And then as I grew, I started adding pieces to it and I built this incredible rig and that became a big business and now I'm a thriving production company. So, you know, at the beginning it wasn't complicated. But I stress that to you guys because like he said, 
you know, he was like, you know, he was doing it for, you know, two, three years before me and he still used a cell phone to do his videos, but his video content was a lot different than mine. His video content was, you know, traveling the world, capturing the moments in a very fast paced environment from, from his phone and which he also marketed that footage to all the phone providers so they can use it for their marketing. Very smart, very smart. So, you know, they were using this footage because it was captured from a phone. So they said, look what you can capture with this phone. Look at all the places you can go. It's brilliant. He also would sell it off to, you know, stock footage and all this other stuff. But again, it was only captured with the phone. So, you know, the quality was there to a point, but it wasn't like what I shoot. Um, but again, at the time, this is a guy who's traveling the world on someone else's expense, you know, because he's getting funded for it. And also he's cashing some pretty decent checks. Plus he's getting paid from YouTube. So, you know, I was like, he knows a few things <laughs> that I can learn from. And, um, and so I go back to that question a lot. You know, what would I do differently if I could start a new business right now? And guess what? I am, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm launching two uh, really exciting platforms that are technically two separate businesses. Um, so in 2020, it's gonna be a big, big year, you know, and, and I want it to be a big year for you. And before I get into that, you know, you know, because this this podcast is going to be about you know putting yourself out there, and 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 just how you can post on social media to give yourself brand awareness, grow something you're interested in, you know, take part in this online experience, uh, and start to develop your own brand or your own experience for other people who follow you. So um, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one today. I'm going to dive into that. But before I dive into that, uh, I want to catch up with you guys. What has been new, you know, since obviously since yesterday's vlog, or I mean a podcast, but you know, what has been new for me this week that maybe I haven't shared with you. Um, if you're part of the Facebook group, the private group, the Zebian Thomas podcast community group, um, I've been super active in there and I'm loving it. And let me tell you why. You know, posting on social media is exciting as well and I need to keep up with that and I am. You're gonna start seeing a lot more of me because we're gearing up for 2020 and in 2020 we're taking over. Like it's gonna be a whole new whole new lane and everyone's getting excited about it and all the, the beta testing that we've been doing and all the groups. Um, it's just been very positive feedback and, and very rewarding. <clears throat> but in the Facebook group, you know, people are piling in, people are starting to communicate with each other. I'm able to help, I'm able to, to start to create this synergy where people are, you know, we throw an idea out there and, and everyone jumps on it or some people have a better idea so they throw into it. And it's just ideal sharing, um, I, 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 yeah. idea sharing and uh, networking at its finest. And I'm really growing this. So what we've introduced to the group in the past week, uh, the beginning of the week we introduced units. So it's an educational Facebook group. It's not just a community of, you know, let me post. I wanted this to have learning uh, opportunities here and, and Facebook has this great structure now. So it's a learning group and um, the units in there, I'm gonna go over a little bit more later on uh, in the group itself. But if you wanna learn about that, it's basically in a nutshell, um, I'm gonna be able to put out uh, courses and, and, and little you know workshops that you can go through and progress through and, and learn from. Besides that, today we just launched the membership inside the Facebook group and, and membership to me, you know, sometimes sounds like it's going to be an extra fee. There's, there's no fee with this membership. It just lets you know that you can become a member within the Facebook group uh, and show your expertise of what you talk about, maybe a certain subject. And I really want to get down to the nitty gritty of, you know, if you're in the group and you're becoming a member, um, you know, don't, don't open up the wide variety. Like when I created my membership, um, I could easily put, you know, web designer, graphic designer, sound designer, editing, videographer, <clears throat> light setup, podcaster, you know, uh, website coder, you know, email marketer, strat I mean, dude, it, the list could go on because that's as an entrepreneur and that's, you know, my daily operations running the businesses. Um, I didn't want to do that because yes, I'm skilled in all those levels, but let me fine tune and laser focus on exactly where I thrive. <coughs> Excuse me. And I thrive on two things in a major way. One is personal development. Boom. I can help someone, you know, get their life together, you know, very fast and, and, and figure out what their focus needs to be on and, um, and, and go, go there. Um, and the other one is, is video marketing. So I made it very specific and mine just is, you know, I help people with video marketing, um, and personal development. And, and then I went back and I said, 
all right, I'm gonna take off personal development. I'm just gonna fine tune on video marketing. So if you're in the group and you're doing this, you know, fine tune. So if you're, you're really good at, you know, email marketing, or if you're really good at, um, you know, resumes or LinkedIn or Twitter or social media, um, then just put that. Because what it is is when someone else is in the group and, and these little keywords come up and people ask, ask these questions, immediately you'll get a response, a ping to someone who's asking a question that's, that fits with what you can help on, your advice. And then you get into a private conversation and you lock together and you guys can, can communicate and help each other. So we all become coaches within this group. That's what I'm so excited about. So that's what I've been up to this week is really just super busy and active inside this group posting like crazy because I get these ideas and I get to share with you guys a little bit deeper than the podcast and way deeper than my social media. Social media for me is just like the, the front door, right? And the group is going into the house, if you will. So I want you to come on in, you know, and, um, and work together. Um, also right now, guys, I want to announce this because some of you guys are, are watching this now. Um, the podcast with episode 20, we launched the very first recording of this podcast live. So if you want to go see me in the lab here, um, which is a lot different. I'm not going to lie. I set this up differently just because the lens is on me. Um, which does kind of intimidate me a little bit, which is weird. I'm not used to being on this side of the lens all the time. Um, <clears throat> but I said that the lights may look cool, you know, I thought, you know, whatever. But we're going to fine tune that as we go. But yeah, it is on my YouTube channel. Um, a lot going on with the YouTube channel too. And I'm going to talk about that. Okay, so if you go to youtube.com forward slash Zebulon Thomas, that's Z-E-B-U-L-O-N Thomas, uh, you'll get access to the, you know, subscribe to. You're, you're gonna see these uh, podcasts pop up on here. Um, this is the direction I want to go with the channel, but I also want to feed the vlogs here and there. I, I, I haven't been vlogging a lot. The last vlog, if I, if, if I could say this without sounding too like, like I'm gonna cut it off and shut it down, because that's not my intention, but you know, the, the channel's been designed over the past couple of years to vlog my life and my family and, and my success. And, you know, I left the vlogs up and I think I'm going to keep them up because you can go back years, years back and you can watch what I was doing and, and literally see, because I vlogged, you know, it, it was a daily vlog and then it was a three times a week vlog. Um, and then eventually I went to, I think I ended up going to like once a week. Um, but you can literally go back and, and see any point in my career as I grew. And, and I also vlogged all the moments that led up to my success as a videographer and, and growing my business. So that's why I left those up there because yeah, you, maybe you don't find me entertaining or you find it exciting, but uh, for two reasons I, you know, I left them up. One is because you could go back and see where I started. And to me, that's what I look for when I'm trying to study someone who's already successful. I don't, I don't really, care as much as where they're at right now. I mean, I see that. It's obviously you're in my face and I'm like, wow, something about you uh, pulls me and motivates me to, to kind of do something exciting. But then I go back. I want to go way back to before all that happened. And if I could find documentations of the struggle, the grind, you know, what things you went through, what, what was your state of mind back then, I want to learn from that person because I know what what road went ahead of you. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm leaving these vlogs up because you can literally go back and, and man, I have changed over the years. I mean, I've experimented on a YouTube, several different, you know, ways to do videos. I did the vlogs. I got crazy. I had brand deals. Uh, I developed friendships. You know, I lost friendships. I grew channels. I closed channels, you know, like, like you saw all the things that I tried to do and looking back, in a, in a short, you know, if I could just summarize it, I could tell you that all the things that I tried to do were exciting. They all led up to where I'm at now as experience goes. But if I could look back and say, all I needed to do is focus on the one thing I started with, and that was creating video content and marketing that. And all the other crazy stuff on the side was just me doubting what I was trying to accomplish in life because it wasn't working. But now I understand how it works. It was working. It just wasn't working fast enough for me because I hadn't caught up to the state of mind I needed to be in to, to actually accept and do this. Uh, and so I had to grow. It wasn't that my skills weren't there. My skills were always there uh, from day one because I wanted it so bad that I made it work right away. 
but I wasn't mentally there to be able to be successful, if you will. And that, that's how I see it. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I leave the blogs up. The other one is, you know, I get to look back at my life on all those years and all those days and weeks and months and different posts and excitement and, and see those highlights of my life. And it really does mean a, a, a lot to me to be able to do that because, you know, I got excited about vlogging. And when I did that, you know, it's one thing to remember a good memory of something that happened, but to be able to go back and look at it, that's exciting. But <clears throat> as a vlogger, and I don't want to get too much into vlogging, but why not? Let's go here a little bit. If you're looking to do videos like this online, um, you know, there's a couple things. Obviously, you want to you want to make sure that you you don't have too much exposure to where people can literally, you know, because you'll grow. You might, you know, really grow. I I didn't have that many subscribers at the time, and I was having people, you know, drop off gifts at my house because they found out where I live without me saying. I was like, well, that's crazy. Uh, it was kind of cool at first, but then it got creepy. So, you know. Some advice I would give someone starting out, especially if you're young, um, you know, don't ever vlog or film anywhere in the front of your house or on your street when you're driving. I, I waited so I got like three or four blocks away from my house, um, especially after I moved, uh, before I'd even turned a camera on. And if I was going to do any video, I made sure I never pointed at certain areas of the house that could be identified, maybe from Google Maps, um, or Google Earth or whatever. So, you know, just take some safety in that. And also, I never never exposed like my mail or anything that had my address on it. Um, it it's very tricky because people look for this stuff. I mean, it's, it's really weird. <clears throat> but on top of that, when it comes to vlogging, there's there's one thing you gotta understand. Um, you can decide to record this moment right now or you could experience this moment right now. You don't get to do both. It's so strange when you have that camera in your hand and you're trying to capture you know, life happening in this moment with your family and friends uh, or the event, um, you really don't get to experience that event because you're filming it yourself. The only way around that is hire someone to film you. That's the only way to get around that. <clears throat> so, you know, and, and so looking back on all those moments, I can watch them, but I don't remember them as well as I would have if I was involved because I was engaging in a camera. I was worried about the shot and setting it up and what was being said and not being said. Um, and capturing that moment. So so just keep that in mind. I mean, definitely worth it. But um, going back to vlogs, I would say vlog the highlights of your life. You know, uh, if there's something happening that's really fun, you know, think in your mind, do I want to just have fun? Let me just have fun with this. But maybe it's an experience of meeting someone and that's something you want to look back on because it's already crazy. And you want to, so you want to vlog moments that you would like to pause that part of time, step back and observe it a couple times over and see like, wow, right? So I'll give you an example. You know, a birthday party, I wouldn't vlog it. I'd have someone film it or maybe be in the pictures, take a few photos, but enjoy the birthday party of your own or a friends or a family member or your kids. Enjoy that birthday party in those moments together. Those are lasting memories. Um, but if you're going to an event, like a concert or a meet and greet or you know, an open house, I don't know, something something that doesn't require you to have that much excitement of memory to, to wanna, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, memory, um, that, that you wanna capture a moment and look back. Like for instance, when I went to meet Sean, um, I'm not Sean, uh, let's see, who is it that I, uh, C.T. Fletcher, I drew a blank there. When I went to meet C.T. Fletcher this past year, um, I was super excited and I knew going to this event, it was at the Arnold Fest, I was like, all right, I'm definitely gonna wanna capture all the stuff that's going on. So not only did I have a lot of fun because it was crazy, but I brought my camera and I was able to capture the moment that I got to meet C.T. Fletcher and incredible inspiration in me. So that was just really, really cool. And and actually it's on the it's on this YouTube channel right now. So if you go and you look, you'll see that um, it's just a good moment. And, and because I filmed it, I was able to look back and watch this and just say, I did that. I put my mind to something to meet someone and it just worked out. You have to watch the vlog to understand why I said that because it, we didn't know if it was even gonna work. I didn't even know if he was gonna be there literally until like the day before. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta make this happen. Um, and it just worked out so nice. Um, but here's a little side note too. When you watch the vlog, if you look closely, you'll see I got, you know, I didn't even have a vlog cam at the time because I, I hadn't vlogged for a while, so I got back into it. I was like, oh man, my cameras are out of date, so I, I need a specific camera for vlogging. And so I just used an iPhone and a GoPro attached to a Go Scope. 
And, um, and, and when you look at me, I had someone else filming me. I think it was my cousin. My cousin was filming me with his phone. And I also had mine in my hand. I was just getting all these cool angles. And it was just, I was just so caught up in don't miss the moment. And then at some point I said, all right, I got to stop worrying about the vlog. And actually, I'm in front of this man right now. Like, embrace this. This is so cool. And so I did. And um, it was good. So, yeah. So the vlog right now, there's going to be a video posted here real soon that I'm really excited about. And then it's going to take a little, a little break of vlogs for a while. Probably until, you know, second or third month in 2020. Uh, when I start to ramp up different things that I could vlog about, like concerts and cool stuff I'm involved in. Um, so the last vlog that's going to be up that I'm working on right now is the Disney vlog. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this if you follow the YouTube channel. Um, I shot this in May, right? There's so much footage and I've been so busy uh, just developing other people's videos and these two businesses that, you know, I do a little bit. Uh, every week on this vlog and it's cool. I'm actually glad it did take me this long to get this vlog going because the Disney vlog is like a bunch of days, a big trip. We took a lot of time off, uh, right? And it was the craziest time too. It was right around the time, you know, we had booked Disney and then at the same time we have Disney uh, booked to get ready to go, you know, we're closing on our house, we're moving and we, it literally was like this, move in May 1st, right? And then two weeks later, leave for Disney. And then after Disney, we came back and we did something else. I forgot what it was. But um, and not only did we do Disney, we went to Disney. And then after Disney, we went off to the Gulf Coast and, and had a little private, you know, stay for a couple more days. Uh, it might have been like four more days. And, and just really got away. And it was nice to take that vacation. We hadn't had a vacation in a long time. We've been grinding so hard uh, as a family. Uh, and so it was, time, it was time to do that. So that's why this vlog is so empowering to me because it's got some really good highlights. And again, you get to look back at that. So that's, that's kind of what I've been up to. Now, let's go ahead and get into putting yourself out there, posting, being, you know, being your best, uh, living your best life. I, you know, I want to, I want to talk about this because, you know, I, as someone who's been putting their life out there a lot, uh, especially more now, uh, I want you to find yourself. And when you do this, it's very new. And especially if we go back to that question of, you know, if you could start a new business right now, what would it be? You know, think about that too. You know, you're going to start this business. Is it an online business, which I would encourage it to be? Um, what is the branding going to be like? What is the experience? You know, people fall in love with you and your personality. So, you know, there's one thing to go out there and be a CEO and be respectful and very professional and deliver a message about a brand. But, you know, you could still do that and be not just the CEO that's professional, but the CEO that's that's kind, caring, and has a personality that people can be attached to. You know, someone like Sean T, um, you know, very inspirational um, fitness guru, I call him. Uh, awesome guy. I personally had the opportunity to meet him and work out with him, uh, which was a great experience. And so his personality rubs off on a lot of people. And, and no wonder he's so successful in that. Um, and, and it's great. And also, you know, there's a lot of people out there that I'm sure you follow on social media that they're in your face, but yet you know they're marketing to you. At the same time, you're like, all right, I'm gonna listen to that, all right. Or, you know, I love these groups you get into where one person or a group of three or four people start this group and you get in there and there's just some really good connection between everybody and the power is just amazing and you feel like you have an extended family. And that's, that's something I want you to think about. So if you're starting a brand or business or you wanna to start to build a following, don't get caught up in the numbers. Get caught up in how much value you can add to the followers. Um, it, and, and I, you know, don't even sit there and, and, hey guys, can you please follow, please follow, please follow. You know, just lead and let them decide if they want to follow you, follow you. You know, it's okay. Obviously do, you know, the call to actions, you know, like, share, subscribe, click the big red subscribe button, you know, follow me. Um, that's, that's one thing because those are call to actions. But you don't really always have to say that. You could say, yeah, that can go without saying. You know, when you, when you do a good piece of content and a video out there that touches base, that people can relate to, whether it's debatable or if it's relatable or if it's something that really empowers people, you know, they're gonna choose you for their, for your, their go-to. And, um, you know, like I said, C.T. Fletcher had said something a couple weeks ago, and I said it in my podcast recently, 
and that was that you know you don't you don't get to decide to be a motivational speaker. The people decide if you're a motiva- motivational speaker. They'll let you know. So if you have something motivational to say and you happen to say it, you'll find out really fast if that's going to be your career is to be a motivational speaker. So I agree with that. You know, do you agree with that? I don't know. I agree with that. Comment below on the video uh, vlog if if you agree with that. You know, I'd, I'd love to hear your input, <clears throat> which that's new too having someone comment on the video because I'm used to this being just a podcast in audio format. So we're growing here. Okay, one of the other things I wanna talk about in this vlog uh, is also, you know, how do I get myself together every day and how you can too. And I'm gonna touch base a little bit about that as well. You know, and I'm talking about putting yourself in a peak state so that you can, you know, really get juice for the day and hyper-focus on all the stuff you gotta accomplish and dominate and create, you gotta put yourself in a state where you know, you're know you operating at your best, you're very creative and happy and, and having fun and laughing. And, and that's also why that I put that Facebook group together because you know I get silly in the group and I want people to see my personality. I want people to see how much fun I'm having run these businesses. Because if you think about it, right? When I was a kid or when you were a, a kid or when I used to say you were small, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure none of you guys were like, oh, I want to run a business someday. That didn't seem fun. But what did sound fun is like, oh, I can't wait to drive a big truck or I can't wait to, you know, go here or I can't wait to operate, you know, a amusement park ride or I can't wait to explore or I can't wait to be a police officer or a firefighter. You know, all the things that when you're a kid sound so exciting because, you know, you're attracted to the big, big red fire truck or the flashing lights of the police car. And we get older and we're like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to see that. Or I don't want to run this business. Um, let's go back to being a kid again. Okay. Cause there are some really fun things you can accomplish. Like I really, believe it or not, I have so much fun marketing. Why? Because I get this idea. I'm like, oh, that'd be super creative. I love to see what people think. And I want to also see what's on the other side of that. Like how fast can I scale the business doing this? Wow. That's cool. You know? And so it's about chasing, being pulled and pulling and pushing and, and all of that in, in a nutshell to just have fun. Um, and like today, you know, I had, I had a lot of fun. You know, my daughter came into the office, the lab, the lab here while I'm working, and she broke up the energy a little bit and added to it because I had music playing. She started doing this dance. So I posted this in the Facebook group page. Um, this crazy dance that my daughter created. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And it kind of gets the energy flowing. So... How I get in this state is I get up every morning and the first thing I do is I start going through my mind, uh, giving thanks to everything I'm I'm grateful of, right? And I start thinking about that and I I have a flood of gratitude and and then I say to myself, okay, today I'm going to be, you know, super uh, engaged and hyper-focused and I'm going to be happy and enjoy all the things that, that I get involved in today and I choose to be happy, I choose to be in balance, and I choose to have this unlimited flow of energy that is just recognizable from so far away. You know, like they, all the different things that I could say to myself to really hype up. And of course, there's days where I get up and, you know, I'm not motivated to do that. So I just go into gratitude. And once you go into gratitude for, you know, a good two to five minutes, sometimes longer, that's when the energy starts to flow and you start to go, okay. And don't just go into gratitude and think, okay, thank you, thank you, okay. Do that, but feel it. Put a smile on your face and really hold that and feel what that feels like. And then I'll go into visualization of, before I get in my mantras. I'll, get on a visual, I'll visualize where I want to be today, like how I want this day to unfold. And then I'll leave some room for, you know, you know like opportunity and, and, and you know, not plan it out. I might say, okay... I'm gonna get into something really exciting. I don't know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a surprise, but it's gonna be awesome. And then throughout the day, I'll find myself in these cool moments where I'm like, this is this is what I was thinking about, but yet I didn't know what it was gonna be. Um, or like I'll see an opportunity. Like I'll say, I'm, I'm open to infinite possibilities and, and to all opportunities. And next thing I know, I'll see an opportunity, whether it's on Facebook, a post, or someone call me, or just something in public. I'm like, that's my opportunity. This is it. I'm going to go for it. Um, little things. And 
and that's all because I prep myself and I, and then to put myself in a peak state, you know, I do deep breathing, I might do yoga, I might do a, a power walk. And that's when I start saying my mantras and I put together, you know, I, I've really built a set of, of, of sentences and, and words that empower me. Um, and, and for you, maybe it's, maybe it's a prayer. I don't know, something you can repeat over and over and over until you get juiced for that and you feel it without any doubt and you just, you're okay, I'm ready. Um, and you gotta move your body when you do this so it really gets you in that state. Um, and that's what I do and I also think about, you know, what am I consuming? So in the morning, you know, the first thing I always struggle with, and I'm not gonna lie, I always struggle with like, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? Bre I still have not figured it out. Like breakfast to me is just like, oh my goodness, it's like, if I'm traveling, it's easy because like someone's, someone's got it all laid out, right? And that's all the options you have and usually it's a bazillion options, especially if I'm with a cheer gym and I'm you know, traveling with the cheer, uh, doing those videos, you know, they have a table with, you know, you know, waffles and pancakes and fruits. And, and then you have to make the decision of like, what's the smart decision? Well, we know, grab the fruits, stay away from all the, the junks and sweets and the carbs, don't load up on that. Um, and you know what happens, <laughs> okay? You, you end up going with the pancakes, but, um, but yes. So when I get up in the morning, I'm like, ah, oh, what do I wanna eat? So I usually resort straight to a protein shake or protein bar, and then I go straight to my workout. So I've learned that if you get up and procrastinate and think about it too long, you're gonna fail. Uh, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to fail at it. Uh, and what I mean by that is you're going to fold and grab the, the unhealthy foods or you're, you're going to get caught up in a phone call and you're not going to do your mantras. Uh, you're going to get caught up and not be able to work out. So don't think about it, just go. And I learned that from a good friend of mine uh, from Florida who just been an inspiration for a long time. Uh, if you're listening, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy, for all your help. Um, you know, he, he always said to me, hey, you know, I don't think about it. I just, I just do it. I'm hungry. I put a carrot in my mouth, right? Uh, I want to work out. I just go. I don't want to work out. I just go. Um, and when I'm, you know, pushing through because I don't want to do it, I'm happy that I did it because I'm in the middle of it. And you won't stop. You won't stop when you get moving. And that's the truth. It's so true. So, you know, that, that's something I really encourage you guys to do is to get up every morning. It's Friday right now. Stop right now and take 10 deep breaths or do five minutes of gratitude. I'm serious. Like, you know, stop the vlog or stop this video, uh, stop the podcast, whatever you're watching on your iPhone, iPad, or computer, and sit back or stand up and do some deep breathing, uh, give some gratitude, maybe, you know, uh, shake your body out. You know, it, it really got to change how you feel. You know, if you notice, like, if you're, if you're crouched over and slouched down and you're breathing shallow, you know, you're probably not in a peak state. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to be in a peak state. Um, and you're also probably going to be tired and then you talk slow and then you're kind of depressed. Maybe you're not depressed. Maybe you're just really tired, right? So I can get you there. I can take you there. <laughs> okay. But I can also pick my chest up, you know, move my hands, my arms a little differently. I can breathe deeper. I can talk deeper, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and I can open my eyes wider and smile bigger and it just brings more energy to me and I can start thinking about the things that you know just really get me juiced and going I'm like man I just love life and I I, I love this business you know and maybe you're like no I don't I don't like my business <laughs> but you can you can you can get in that peak state because it's a choice you know a couple months ago I start walking at the park a lot I started thinking about this and I'm like I don't want anybody to come in uh, to my life or in, in, in the public and, and say anything to me or on social media that will disrupt me and bring me back down, right? And because that was happening, you know, people could say one thing to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I get all stressed out or they could say something and, and I'm like, what? Like, really? And I'm like, maybe maybe I was a little too much or I didn't, that content wasn't good enough, you know, or maybe I, did I offend somebody? Well, I put all that aside and I said, listen, if I come truly from a place of giving and love and energy and that's my purpose, then then I'm not gonna have to worry about offending people because that's not my intention. And I'm not gonna worry about people um, putting criticism on me that's gonna bother me because that's their opinion and I'm none of those opinions, whether they're good or bad. So when you detach from that and you remind yourself that you, you are contr in control of how you feel and you decide what people's comments or things they do or the things that happen to your environment, um, what they do to you and what they mean to you. So, you know, you can't control the events that happen to you in your life, but you can control what those events mean. That's a very empowering 
uh, uh, message that I heard from Tony Robbins, and it's so true. And so I, I went to the park, and I would go every single day, and that was the first, before I even started mantras, that was what I said. I said, I am so sick of feeling this way. I'm so tired of someone being able to say one thing, and I and, and you know they pull the rug out from underneath me. Why? I'm like, I'm, I've been through so much, and I'm so strong, and I'm so motivated, and, and anyone else would have gave up years ago. And, and here I am letting someone say one little word and it fall, makes me fall down. Like, what is that? I'm not that vulnerable. So I just changed my focus. I changed everything. And I said, I'm not going to let this happen anymore. And I took control. And that same energy then built this momentum. And that's why we're here right now because I said, I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to start these businesses. I'm going to get off my butt. I'm going to just start organizing stuff. And I don't need all this extra resource to make this happen. I just need to move, right? I just need to get moving and apply myself. Again, that goes back to a good friend of mine in Florida who said, hey, you have all this incredible stuff. You've hustled so hard for so long. You don't need to hustle anymore. All you need to do is just put this stuff together and start delivering it to the people. You know, delivering it to the social media outlets that you have and, and start building this empire. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it in such a big way. And it just took a little bit of time. So for those of you guys, you know, waiting around for this, thank you so much. For those of you that are sleeping on me right now, okay, wake up because... I want to see you succeed, not just me. I want to see you succeed. So whether you you follow me or not, I'm here for you, right? Turn around, come back, leave, come back, right? Whatever, this content's gonna be here. It's gonna be growing. You don't wanna miss a thing. And in 2020, I'm telling you, like, you're gonna wanna be a part of the mailing list. You're gonna wanna be a part of the group. You're gonna wanna be following the website. You're gonna be wanna to see this, you know, this transformation, this transparency of what I'm doing with my companies and, and not because, and maybe you do want to get involved. Maybe you want to be the person that you just want to consume this content and purchase these programs and these products that I'm offering. Or maybe you just want to learn from me um, so you can see this and do it yourself, right? And that's, that's going to be great. Either route you take, there's going to be massive value added back to you. I promise you this because that is what I'm dedicated to, to, to doing right now. And it's next level. And I have all the right people in my corner. I have all the right resources. I have plenty enough to provide right now. And, and I said, why not? And also, why not enjoy this process? No one says you have to be, you know, a certain way, wear a suit and tie to be in a video to operate your company. Well, you know, we've seen that before. We've seen people not having to do that, but yet they had successful businesses. And that's what I'm doing is, and that goes back to what this podcast is about, about putting yourself out there and then, you know, posting it, but living your best life doing it. You want to put out your personality, and and it takes a lot. It does take a lot for you to break down through the shell. You know, I have this camera on me right now. I've, I'm pretty much loosened up right now, so I'm used to it. I'm in the microphone, which can be t- intimidating because I don't want to mess up. Don't want to mess up the podcast. Listen, you run the show. You run the show of your life. So run it. Make it an awesome show. Right. Go into another season. Right. <laughs> Just make it entertaining and build that experience. So when people turn that phone on and they see your content, they see you, your face, your stuff, whatever you your, hear your voice, you know, they now start to get into your world and this, this brand experience of like what it's like to be around you. And, and if that's exciting and engaging enough, if you're juiced for it, they're going to be juiced for it. Just like right now, you hear it in my voice. I hope you're juiced for this podcast, right? I hope you're juiced to say this crazy guy got me motivated right now and I want to go out there and start doing some cool stuff. I don't even know what it is. I want you guys to get up out of your seat and start running towards the wall saying, I'm going to be this. But yet you're like, wait a minute, I don't know nothing about this. And before you know it, you've busted through the wall and you've got these following. And then you turn around and go, I got to lead these people. It's time to figure out what I'm doing with this. I mean, that's just how it works. And I just realized that nothing's impossible if you put your mind to it. Um, and, and maybe, you know, this turned into like a Friday motivation and that's really not what's in my notes. <clears throat> but what's in my notes is talking about peak performance, talking about helping you guys grow, you know, what 2020 is going to be like. And I've been talking a lot about it, but we're going to talk more about it because we're getting closer to the end of a decade and we're going to start a new decade. And I want you guys to say, you know, happy new year, right? But I want you to say it not like you did last year. And if last year was awesome, let's make it even better. Okay. And that's always motivated me hearing that right there. If last year was, was great, make it better. If last year was bad, don't let it be bad again. You know, change it up, you know, start to control, um, how you feel and what you project in your mind. So I want you to be ringing in the new year going, 
oh man, it's about to have fun. I don't want you to be like, okay, it's almost midnight, the ball's gonna drop, and now I'm just, I, I gotta go to bed, right? Or like, it's a, uh, I saw the ball every year or last year, let's go to bed, it's not worth it. Like, what is that? Change it. Don't go into this, don't end this year on a bad note, finish strong, and start the next year even stronger. So, and, and listen, I, you, you, maybe you've heard it before, how you wrap up this year is gonna be, is gonna be how you start next year, right? So if you wrap up this year like, oh my gosh, this is a sweep, this one under the rug, and we're done, well guess what? You just swept 2020 under the dang rug. Don't do that. Don't do that. You owe it to yourself, to your family, to your, to your career, to the vibrant quality of your life in 2020. I'm telling you, smile more, laugh more, hug more. In fact, I have a bracelet on my wrist I'm gonna show the vlog viewers. You guys know who this is. A lot of you guys follow this. Smile more, Roman Atwoods, right? I wear this on my, my wrist because he's an inspiration, his brand's inspiring, and it reminds me to smile more and also to make other people smile more. Now, yes, I'm not always this way. I'm not always jolly and rainbows, but I catch myself and it's all about little steps. So say this week you go strong and you're really good. Next week, you just have a really rough week, okay? Go back, once you find yourself in that moment where you're like, wow, I'm so stressed out, I'm so, this week, ah, this sucks, Urgh. and you're frustrated, that's the moment you gotta like snap your fingers and remind yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm in control of how I feel. Let me, let me change this, let me sit up, how's my breathing, and go through the steps, align your body, am I moving right, am I drinking enough water, am I taking enough air in, am I thinking positive, have I did my, gra my gratitude, have I done my workouts, what have I done, what have I not been doing? to put me in the state and change it. And when you make that shift and you say, I'm not gonna do this, you know, and you look away from the wall, like you're driving down the, the race car track and you see the wall and you're wiping out and you're in a spin and there's the wall and you're like, I don't want the wall and you're gonna hit the wall. Turn the other direction, look towards the grass and take that car to the grass. So course correct your week and your projects and all the stuff that you're, even if they look like they're crashing and burning, say, I'm gonna shift this, or I'm gonna jump ship and save everybody, right? Take control, be the leader, okay? There's a leader in every one of us. Find that, do it, be in power. Come on guys, that's the motivation. That's it right there. So again, if you can start a new business, what would it be right now? Jump into the Facebook group and, and, and join the mailing list. Go to zebulinthomas.com. You'll see it all right there. There's the podcast, there's the Facebook group, there's the mailing list. Get involved, start consuming some of this content. We are growing. Right now I just did this crazy dance on my Facebook group page. If you wanna see it, go there right now. Um, and it was about you know me doing my daughter's dance. I was like, oh man, this dance that she created, I was like, I'm gonna do this dance. I get motivated and I'm doing the dance because I'm like, everyone's flooding into the group right now. It's growing. I'm like, thank you guys, thank you. But it's it's not like thank you guys because you click the little button and said, oh, I'll support Zeb Zebulon and, and see what this group's about. It's really like thank you for taking a step forward to actually want to consume some content you know, consume some value because there's so much garbage out there. I want to give you something that'll help you. And, and if it's not for you, it's just not for you. And that's fine. You know, uh, I was watching some stuff on uh, Russell Brunson the other day. Uh, actually, it was yesterday. I saw some ads pop up, you know, about, you know, click funnels and all this stuff because these are things that I got to learn more about for my business and this brand, this platform. And, you know, I love Russell's energy. is great. Um, but I'm just, I don't know about the click funnels. I know he's trying to sell me. I, this is the nature of the business. And what I do, I'm like, oh yeah, all right, I'm gonna invest in this, why? Because hey, what do I got to lose? I need to learn this stuff anyways. And now, I'm gonna say it, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Uh, and, and Russell, you know, like, uh, I know he doesn't listen to the vlog or the, the podcast, you know, he doesn't see these things, but uh, got a little communication going through his uh, the Facebook the other day. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just really good where we're growing, where we're going with this and growing. I already said, and Russell, if you're listening, you know, if we happen to cross paths and we're in the same room uh, somewhere in 2020, I can tell you the ideas are gonna just go crazy and it's gonna be next level, next level creation right there. Uh, and I even I even told him that and you know he, he liked it, that I'm stuttering here. Uh, and I don't know where it's going, but see that's the thing, opening the doors to the possibilities of building a, a connection or a relationship with these individuals that, that inspire you to be great. Um, reach out, don't be afraid, don't be afraid because there's so many people that seemed like they were so untouchable and it was just me placing the right email, the right phone call, or put myself in the right place, the right time, 
and, and having my opportunity and going for it and going, hey, I got an idea, or hey, I wanna meet you, or hey, this is a thing, a, a, an opportunity that I've been thinking about for a long time, and I think if we got together on this, we could help a lot of people. Boom, right? Side hustle, side businesses happen. I've been doing that countless times, you know, or, you know, you have a client and they're trying to get somewhere. And so you happen to meet that place, that person that can get them there. And then you connect the dots and now you've expanded your network and everyone's, everyone's succeeding. And that's what all of this is about. So hopefully I haven't talked your ear off too much. And I wanted to keep this to my notes here, but obviously I got off topic. Well, not off topic. I just got heavier into the topic. And excited about it because man talking about 2020 and the things that we're gonna do and the things that you can do yes it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be good so before I wrap this vlog up I just want to say this that this I keep saying a vlog see because I'm looking at the vlog note right now this is not a vlog it's podcast see there's no there's no wrong way to do this um, I want to wrap the podcast up with uh, with just saying to you how much I appreciate your guys's ear and now your visuals on the on the, on the uh, YouTube channel and sticking with me and watching me grow. And I promise you that right now we're at the very beginning stage of a mastermind. And what I mean by that, like masterminding my business, these platforms and figuring it out and I'm having so much fun doing it. And this is why I'm being super transparent with you because the websites are launching. It, you know, some of them are not up, but yet the URLs are being shared it's because I'm controlling all of that and I'm, I'm working it. So any website you see pop up, it's because I coded it. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a couple weeks once this platform launches because I've been spending hours and hours and hours on this website getting it just right, the look, the feel, and everything. And when you see it, it's going to blow you away. It's going to be awesome. And the value on it, you're going to be like, no way. And I bet you, I bet you, you're like, none of this pertains to me. I'm not gonna run a business, and that's fine. Maybe you're the stay-at-home mom or dad. That's okay, right? But you're gonna see this, and you're gonna be like, oh man, I gotta get involved with this. There's something for me. There's something for everybody on this. And that's why it's been taking me so much time, because making this so diverse, but yet so structured to the T of serving and adding value, that's a tough one, but I finally figured it out. And I'm sharing it with you guys right here on the Zebian Thomas Podcast. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been the Zebian Thomas Podcast, episode 20. 20 straight days in a row. Well, no, that's not straight days. I think I missed I missed the three days, remember, a couple uh, like a week ago because the podcast went down and I couldn't get access to it. So we missed three days. But if you're new to the podcast, 6 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday, weekends are off. So you don't have to hear me crazy, right? Take the weekends and enjoy them. Find a way to be creative. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care. And that is a wrap for the Zebin Thomas podcast. <clears throat> and now I'm going to give you a little extra bonus for some of you guys who are watching this still, right? Um, how I record this right now. And I'm going to show you. I, I'm using, I'm going to take this out. Let me save the audio here. All right, so I'm using my phone, uh, and this is the Anchor app to record my podcast, and this distributes it to all the platforms, and it works real good. So right now, I'm just gonna key this in here. This is gonna be episode 20. So I make a little note. See, there it is. This is me building it, and then I hit add recording to episode, and then it, and then it processes. Uh, and then from here, so so on here, um, I'm not going to be able to cut to these commercials like I do. So, you know, I didn't do a commercial on this particular podcast today because it's my first time with you guys on the video. And I didn't really know how to pause this because I want to eliminate all editing. I got so much editing back there. I don't know if you see, I'm working, oh, that computer blanked out right now. I got so much on the timeline back there that I don't have time to edit this. So this is a straight cut all the way through. Uh, and I hopefully it works out. Um, but yeah, no, no uh, advertisements. So I will say this. This podcast is brought to you by Rode Microphones, GoScope, and Glidecam. So check them out. Rode.com, go-scope.com, and Glidecam.com. Uh, those are the three sponsors that this podcast is sponsored by. And, uh, and my own ZT Films, 
So ZT Films, look up the hashtag ZT Films. You see it on the door back here. Um, but yeah, in the podcast, encourage you to go listen to this audio format um, because it sounds good. It really does. I want to. Hopefully, this sounds good too. Going with this mic, I don't think. Again, I'm not doing editing, so I'm not going to plug in the actual audio overlay on this. This is just from the Rode mic um, that's on my camera, and then the Rode mic here. But um, yeah, go listen to the audio. It's on iTunes, Spotify, and all other platforms. But Anchor is an incredible app, and I'm going to go ahead and plug Anchor, right? It, if you want to start a podcast and you're interested in doing this, Anchor is a great way to start because it's all done with the phone. Uh, you record it right into the phone. You hit publish, schedule it, whatever you need to do, and you're good to go. And if you want to know a little secret about how my podcasts are recorded, um, I do record them in the morning, okay? So... But they are very early in the morning. So it goes out at 6 a.m. So I record this. Uh, like right now it is 2.30. So it's 2.30 in the morning. So I record this about two between 2.30 and 3.30 in the morning. I'll record my podcast. Then I'll distribute it. So I'm, you know, I'm done by 4. Um, and then uh, I wrap up what I got to do. And I go to bed. And I get back up 9 o'clock in the morning. Unless I need to get up super early. And I change my schedule. But, but that's pretty much how it goes. Um... Because at night, for me, I get so many more ideas and I can, you know, things are slowing down and calming down in the world and I get super focused and I just can think better and work better and operate better. So as a pro tip, it's just an idea to think about, you know, when are you most productive? You know, do you need to be hands-on with your work during the day? And that might be the case, social media strategy and posting. But if you're creating things and operating and getting the ideas, you might need to do that later on in the afternoon or at night, early in the wee hours of the morning. It just works. All right, we're going to wrap up this podcast video, okay? Thank you guys so much for checking this out. The very first is Evan Thomas podcast on my YouTube channel. This is just the first of so many other outlets. Stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Um, join the Facebook group. Get in there and join the mailing list. Like I said, ZebulonThomas.com. Link is below. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care.